guys, so I hope you had a spooktacular Christmas. I have had this sat waiting for me to open and it is this month's Spooky Box Club. Now they were a little bit late to ship these Spooky Box Clubs out. This is the stationery box. I was so, so excited, but they were a little bit late shipping it out. Since it came quite close to Christmas, I have been so, so busy, so I apologize for not being around, but I have laid aside the whole of today to open this stationery Spooky Box Club so I am super super excited. I have seen a few small spoilers on Instagram and I saw a couple of like YouTube thumbnails so I do have an idea of what's in here but every time I saw them I went very quickly past them. So I have an idea of the sort of things that are in here but I don't kind of know the details as such. So the thing with this one is that it did come in the usual kind of plastic envelope but then it came in this one as well which is kind of a bubble wrap envelope. I think they've either started to do this just as some extra kind of packaging safety. All the things in here are particularly fragile but it's just another layer to get into. Whew. Okay so we have the spooky box. It is again still the same. I still want to call it their new design but I think they've had this kind of design for like three or four months now but it says spooky box club on the front you've got stars and bats on the side and then their address in large writing at the bottom and it looks like there is some confetti which has escaped there's lots of little black stars and there's also a little hollow star as well so I'm guessing the confetti inside will be stars now on the front we have the sticker and it says spooky stationery box and it has a skirt in hand holding well it is meant to be kind of like a quill pen so it's kind of like a feather with the writing bit at the end and it's in a very nice kind of dark red colour so I'm very excited to see that they've already made sure that it is spooky. Now one of my great loves in life is stationery. I I don't know why I get this kind of warm feeling inside every time I walk into a stationery section of a shop. So I have been particularly looking forward to this one. There's obviously a lot you can do with stationery. You've got like pencil cases and books and pens and, and pencils and rulers and etc etc. So I am excited to see how they put a spooky twist on it. So I'm going to open it up and as always I'm going to do this as a kind of blind unboxing. So on the top we have the cheat sheet which looks purple stripey so we'll come back to that later so we have lots of wormies on the top there's actually i take that back there's not that many wormies so that means that it's going to be quite jam-packed which is always a good thing so the first thing i can feel in here is in an organza bag and it is this and i can see a pumpkin in the viewfinder and i can see a bat hanging in my face so i'm very excited to open it up so it comes in a nice purple organza bag and these look like little paper clips which are so cute. Now we probably won't actually use these as paper clips, I'll probably just slide them onto either the garlands I have hanging up which is kind of where I keep all my cool spooky paper clips or I'm sure these could even go on my year round spooky Christmas tree, we'll see. So the first one, which they're all in little kind of see-through bags, is a bat and they are kind of made out of a felt material kind of embroidery around the outside. So they are quite simplistic but I do really like that kind of look. It does look like quite a startled bat. He has nice big round eyes um, and then his kind of whole face and body is kind of all in one bit. And then as you can see it does have embroidery around the outside. Now I think this is just to add a few little details because felt is an amazing material since it does not actually fray which is one of the reasons I love working with felt. Um, it does seem to be like a double kind of layer of felt and then they've got a kind of third layer which is this little circle here which is holding in the paperclip which is in a sort of pointed shape. It's not like your usual paperclip. Now do I have any paper here I can use? So let's see. Yeah it goes on there very nicely and it will stick up like this at the top. So if you're pinning lots of important pieces of paper together and make it look especially spooktacular. So we've got the little bat and next up is the pumpkin which I love. I'm hoping I can pin this up somewhere near my pumpkin patch because I love adding pumpkins to my pumpkin patch. It is getting very full over in that corner. I think I'll probably need to do an updated 
pumpkin batch tour soon. Um, so the next one is this cute little pumpkin. He's got quite a lot of detail, but he's still simplistic, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but he is a lovely, smiling little jack-o'-lantern. Background is the orange felt. Again, it's kind of doubled layered with that kind of circle on the back holding the paper clip into place. Um, but he has a very kind of classic pumpkin face and nose. He has little circular eyes and a little green stalk. And they've even added these little red embroidered bits, which kind of give the pumpkin a little bit of definition, showing off its grooves. Um, I do really love this one. It is so, so cute. So again, with your paper, let's see, it slides on nicely. And you have your little pumpkin sticking up at the top. These are quite hefty paper clips. I feel like you get quite a lot of paper in them, which is really nice. I know some of the smaller ones like can't take the amount of uni work I have to pin together. So it's going to be quite nice to have some larger ones to potentially use. And then the last one is this skull, which definitely is very kind of spooky box vibes in terms of skull style. Um, I'm sure we've had this kind of style of skull previously on other Spooky Box Club things that we've got, but it's very cute, very simplistic, and there is a little bit of kind of white embroidery up there, just to give it a kind of tiny little shine as such. You don't see it straight away, but when you catch it in certain lights, you can see there's a bit there. Again, it's all nicely embroidered, two layers with a circle on the back, and let's add it to our little family of paper clips that we've got here. So here are the three little paper clip felt paper clip things that we got. As I said, I probably will be using these in other places, not just as paper clips. I feel like they will very nicely slide onto other things and make them nice and spooky. So next up in here is this and it makes a lot of noise and it looks like a box <laughs> on it it says little bone paper clips so we've got some more paper clips they're definitely loving the paper clips in this box so far so it is a little see-through box you can see the paper clips in there there and it says little bone paper clips it has the little skull which kind of corresponds with our little felt skull that we've got there. It has little bones either side and it says Spooky Box Club underneath. It's a nice little box. Let's see how you open it. I think you just pull it up or not. Ah, do you push it in? Pull it out. What is this witchcraft? Okay, <laughs> so inside it has some little white paper clips and they are in the shape of a bone. They have got some kind of bat ones in this style and they work exactly the same as every other type of paper clip. It's not gonna show up amazing on my white paper just because these are white paper clips, um, but they just kind of slide on. And then you have a little bone on your paper, which is very nice. And they've given us quite a few of them. There's quite a nice kind of large amount. I have actually recently started doing some kind of pen paling, although I'm pretty rubbish at it because it takes me so long to write back because I'm just so unorganised. But I feel like these paper clips will go quite nicely because I'm kind of writing quite a few pages and I just kind of fold the kind of ends over at the moment which looks kind of boring so I guess now I can put a nice little bone paper clip. So next up in here I feel something long it feels like either a magic wand or another bone and it just looks like a plastic bone but it does have like a groove here so i'm assuming that it may be a pen let us see okay so it is very plasticky like very plasticky it has a very strange feel to it so this side feels very kind of rubbery and then this side is very kind of plasticky i hope you can see the difference in the materials so i'm guessing this is the lid yeah and then inside we have a little pen um i'm assuming this side is rubbery because it's meant to help with your grip although it is slightly weird that the lid is a different texture so again it is in a bone shape it does feel very plasticky but the pen it does look like quite a nice kind of fine tipped pen so i will use my envelope to see if it works it feels nice and lightweight while i'm writing and as far as pens go, this isn't actually a biro. If you're about to see it, my scruffy mid-air writing, but it's kind of like almost like a gel pen or like a roller pen. It's definitely not kind of the same texture as what you would have like a normal biro, but it is quite smooth and it does write straight away as well. It doesn't have, I didn't have to like scratch around or anything to get it to write. 
am pretty pleased with the performance of this bone pen. As I said, it does feel quite plasticky. It does look quite weird, but I'm sure I will enjoy writing my Christmas thank you letters using this cute little bone pen. So next up in here is something... Well, I want to say it's the lollipop, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay, it's a lollipop shape. What is this? Is this the lollipop? Okay, this is what I'm dealing with here. It has a kind of tin foil cake tin, sort of. Inside is kind of black, and then it has a lollipop stick coming out of it. And it says that the ingredients are sugar and glucose. Well, they do say we should try one new thing a day. <clears throat> so we shall open this up and try this together. Right. <laughs> okay, so it's very shiny. Hopefully you can see. And, oh, a bit of mine just broke off. It seems to be some kind of homemade lolly. It smells a bit like treacle tart, and as you can see, a bit of mine has chipped off, just off the bottom there. So I'm gonna try the bit that has chipped off. Mmm. Oh, very crunchy. It tastes nice. It is very, very sweet. I don't think I could eat the whole of this in one go. It almost tastes like they've got kind of syrup, put it all in there, and then like froze it into a lolly shape. I'm not complaining, it's very nice, and I'm glad they're doing something different because I was getting a little bit bored of their old lollies. So I am excited by this new one. It does taste quite nice. Probably gonna last me a few sittings because it is very sweet. After that confusion, next up, I feel an empty bag from earlier, a box, it looks like a black box with silver writing on and I can see a moon and it says spooky pencils for wicked words, spooky box lab, I am loving the packaging, I am a sucker for packaging and I'm loving this, so it looks like it may be a slide out box, am I right? Hmm. I think it's just a very tight squeeze. I got into it. I was just having a bit of a moment. Um, so when you pull it out, it has some black pencils in there. So here's the outside bit. And then they are in their little kind of black thing. So, ooh, they've got, run. <laughs> they've got various different writing on them. Slightly strange. Okay, so they're all just your regular black pencil. It has a little black rubber at the top, which I recommend no one uses these rubbers on the end of pencils if you are drawing with them because it will ruin your drawing. And then it has this bit at the end, which is ready for sharpening. And by the looks of it, it looks like the wood inside is black. So this will be an entirely black pencil when you sharpen it. And right there at the bottom, it has some writing. So this one says blackmail. The next one says the love letters, which is cute. Um, then we have revenge. I'm not sure how much I'll be using that pencil. Um, <laughs> and then we have ransom notes, which actually my boyfriend's surname is ransom. So I will use this when I write him notes. Um, then we have Death Threat, again, not sure how much I'll be using that one. And that is all of the pencils. So those are the five pencils which came in there, again, all with rubbers and black ends to them. I imagine that these are just going to be regular like writing and drawing pencils. They don't have any marking on them to say what kind of type of pencil they are and um, whether they're like HB etc. But I'm sure that these are kind of meant just for writing rather than doing any in-depth drawing. They are quite nice pencils. I'm not too sure about some of the writing on these especially but I do quite like the kind of idea probably would have preferred them if they said pumpkins and cats and things on them but I'm still probably going to use them and I do love the little package that they come in definitely gives me very kind of witchy vibes although it does say wicked words so I'm guessing that's probably why it says that those things are on them um I do actually have a really cute notebook which I got from Killstar a while ago let's see if I can reach it
it's a little bit dusty because I've had it on the side um, but it says sorry I can't I have plans with my cat and at the bottom it says 1000 reasons why cats are better so I did get this notebook quite a while ago and as you can see I have absolutely put nothing in there but for some reason I feel like this notebook and these pens go amazingly together with the aesthetics <laughs> so next up let me have a sip of tea next up in here we have another bag okay it feels like oh no we have a pin oh it looks amazing i haven't even got my pin jacket ready so next up is a pin to add to my ever filling pin jacket i am loving this pin already it comes in a little black organza bag so we'll open it up and inside we have a little plastic bag and inside the plastic bag we have the pin so as you can see it's quite a large pin the pins seem to fluctuate between pins which are this size and pins which are massive so i'd say this is on the larger side and i love it so much i was talking to simply gothic when we met up to do our christmas shopping and she said i would particularly love the pin and i can tell you right now i particularly love the pin so it's the same as the kind of sticker on the front of the box which i'm not going to lift up because i will see the rest that's in here um but it is a kind of skeleton hand in a writing position and they have the kind of quill pen and from the end of the quill there is a little red drop hopefully you can see it but it is a little kind of red drop of ink or blood however you'd like to look at it and it is quite shimmery and glittery when you look at it nice and closely so I'm very pleased with that and I'm loving all the detail which is inside it is just a kind of silver backed pin it says spooky box club on it and it has your single clasp so it's time to put it on my pin jacket so I do try to keep them in somewhat themes like a lot of my mysticum luna ones are up here now we do have a mysticum luna one here which is of a skeleton hand doing this. I did kind of believe I had, oh, I do have another skeleton hand. This skeleton hand here, which is holding a pineapple drink from our spooky summer box. But I think I'm going to put it alongside this. I feel like it also goes well with this little skull pin as well. And I feel like there is a good space around here too. So there you go. It fits in really, really nicely down there along with my other skeleton hand. And I love it. I may end up moving it as usual because this is quite far like to that side but overall I'm very pleased with it. I stuck it through the kind of thicker part of the jacket here where the two sort of panels meet so it isn't moving around much at all just because it is quite heavy on this side and the pin is just there so I've put it through a slightly thicker part but it sits there really nicely and also it goes with the little skeleton who's in there so it works perfectly and I particularly love the pin. So I feel like we must be coming to the end of the box now so there is nothing else on the top of here I can just feel something plasticky it feels like it may be a pencil case <laughs> let's have a look it's stripy it's giving me Beetlejuice vibes and it's definitely a pencil case although it looks very much like it could be used as a makeup bag so I'm loving the stripes of it, definitely as I said, beetle juice vibes. It's a quite nice large size pencil case. I have heard a few people say that this pencil case is maybe slightly too big to be a pencil case, but I have to say I need a lot of things and I need a lot of space. So this will work perfectly. As you can see it is nice and stripy, it is a kind of material feeling thing it's not like a plasticky or was it the glamour box we got like a makeup bag and it was made out of kind of almost a pleathery kind of thing but this is a more cotton feeling material and it has a zip at the top and on the front in more of this kind of leathery material it does say witch crafting which is cute and it has two little bits holding it on there although it is fully stone on so that bit's not flapping around which is really nice i think it's very kind of subtle it's not too in your face but i think it looks really nice and it does have a tiny little d-ring on the side so i'm guessing that so you can hang it to something or clip something on there like a charm i have so many spooky box charms and nowhere to clip them so something can be clipped onto there and the zip so inside it is again material um it does have <laughs> this is what was confusing me it has a little um spooky box club tag on the side but it is fully lined 
which is really nice. I'm loving the fact that they lined this pencil case because I can actually reach one from here. I say one because I do have a couple of these which I use. This is one of the makeup cases that they got us. I've got kind of crafting stuff in there at the moment. It isn't actually lined. It is a really nice thick material, but especially for the fact that I do use one of these as my actual makeup bag and it is literally full to the seams um these aren't lined and I find that it just gets very kind of dirty I don't know if you can see everything sort of looks a little bit grubby in there um and I do worry about stuff maybe leaking and coming through to the outside which is partly why I put like a backup one just in case but as I said this one is lined so we won't have that trouble now as a kind of design difference the makeup bag is made so that it's kind of flat on the bottom whereas this one is just completely straight at the bottom so it doesn't have that kind of flat edge although I'm sure the more you put in there the easier it will stand up but this is definitely meant for kind of laying down rather than standing up but when I kind of flatten them out as much as I can with this bag um, they are pretty much the same size they're about the same height bear in mind this one is full of junk um, and they're about the same size as well either side so it is a good size the back one just fits in all my makeup is the perfect size it's probably one of my favorite things I've actually got from Sweetie Box Club so I'm sure this can either be used as a backup makeup bag or a pencil case as I said I do actually need a pencil case for uni so that will go quite nicely so from the spoilers which I saw I think there must be one more thing that's in here so the last thing let me check it is the last thing no I lied there are two things there is I thought this was a nail file then it is a ruler again in the shape of a bone they are definitely loving the bone theme this time around it feels like it's kind of it's sort of got a bit of a bend to it it's not a plastic it feels like it almost feels like a pressed cardboard but it's called green style so again it may be like an eco-friendly version but it is in the shape of a bone and it has what looks to be centimetres across the top so it goes up to 15 which is the regular size for a small ruler. I have to say I wasn't quite expecting to get a ruler in here but let's see it will fit into the pencil case which is very handy. Um, as I said it doesn't feel like the strongest material I've ever seen. I'm sure it will work. It does seem like a nice straight edge and I guess if you want to draw a bone you have a perfect template to draw around. So I'm going to put that into my pencil case along with that bone pen because I feel like these are made to go together. Okay so now I feel like there is only one thing left in here. Oh and it's a lot chunkier than I was expecting and that is not a bad thing. So the last thing I should got in here, which I can pretend to feel but I know exactly what it is, is a coffin shaped notebook and I am so pleased with the thickness of it. I was expecting it to be more like my little starter one but as you can see this one is pretty much double the thickness. There is 101 pieces of star confetti which has escaped into the actual packaging but ta-da! Here is the coffin notebook which seems really nice I, I definitely I'm getting kind of monster high vibes from this like I feel I'm gonna look so super spooky when I'm walking down the uni halls or the school halls with a coffin notebook so it does feel really nice I was expecting it to be quite cheap and thin but I'm very very pleased with the quality of it so it is just kind of plain black on both sides although at the bottom indented on this side it does say spooky box club to me that seems like the back because I open my books this way um so the spooky box club bit is on the back so when you open it the first page is purple so I'm guessing that's just kind of the lining and the back page is purple as well and then inside 
you've got another bit of purple and then the rest are just plain pages as you can see now the paper itself is a really nice thickness i'm very very pleased with the thickness of this it is all plain as well which i really like i do like my paper to either be plain or lined i found especially like with some companies like hillstar notebook they kind of put little decorations around the top although these decorations are nothing to do with the company or the book it's just kind of the general template which they come in um, and this bit's just really annoying I find that it takes away from the whole spookiness and coolness of this notebook so I'm very pleased to say that this notebook is completely empty now right in the middle if I can get it out we do have a string that comes from this part so if you are the kind of person who likes to keep your place in your notebook there you go you can see where it was so that's really nice it feels like a nice ribbon as well it's not fraying or anything and the thing i do really like about this book because the first thing i thought when i saw it was wouldn't it be great if it was a ring bound book so that you could open it flat because sometimes with these kind of notebooks you can't open them flat because there's just not enough material on the side but this is perfect i'm very very pleased with the design because look it can open nice and flat and it's not really struggling at all so it's going to be very easy to write on so i'm so pleased with that i've got my new notebook for uni everyone's going to think i'm absolutely insane and i do not care because it is so adorable that is everything which came in our spooky box club stationery box other than a shared ton of confetti we have black stars we have silver stars and we have those kind of pink little bats which we get quite frequently so that is all of the stuff so it's time to check the cheat sheet if i can find it on the cheat sheet it says that we have a black coffin notebook which is this i have to say this is definitely my favorite thing which we got in the box when i did see the spoiler photos this was the thing i was most skeptical about but i'm very 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 pleased with the quality of it we have custom made pencil set in a gift box which was these in the gift box which were the spooky pencils for wicked words we have the custom made witch crafting pencil case which is this um the creepy planner clip trio which were the little felt paper clip guys which they says that they are planner clips so i'm guessing that means they go in diaries etc if needed then we have the bone fine liner pen there you go i knew it wasn't a biro it's a fine liner so a fine liner pen i do tend to use fine liners when i'm going around the outlines of like drawings which i've done so i may try that out for some drawings um we have the handcrafted treacle pan lollipop which was this confusing contraption which we had and did i say it tasted like treacle or syrup i was close um and then we have the custom made bone paper clips which were these little guys we had the ghost writer enamel pin which is on my jacket and the bone ruler so that's everything which we got in the stationery box i did really like this box i had very high hopes for it and i do feel like it sufficiently met my hopes and dreams which i had for the things that could go in here so i'm very very pleased with it the next box i want to say is the uh, abominable box i have lost uh maybe it's the witch's cottage box i have lost the order i just i have lost all sense of what order these boxes come in i have just been so excited for the stationery box so i will be back soon because as i said this box got here late and then i opened it late and i'm pretty sure they said that the next box was due at the end of december so i should be back very soon with another spooky box club unboxing so thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions comments please do leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you next time bye